This is like number three on your free test. Number three on your free test deals with dividing decimals. So when I divide decimals, my first number is my dividend. So I'm going to put that number inside the house. The second number we call the divisor. It goes outside the house. So now I have it set up like a division problem. But there's something different. You can't have a decimal in the divisor. You can't do division with a decimal in the divisor. But don't worry, it's really easy to fix. All I'm going to do is move it over to the right. Now, I've changed that divisor to 82. I've moved it one space to the right. Whatever I do outside the house, I have to do inside the house. So I'm moving that decimal over one space to the right. So the rule is that if there's a decimal outside the house, you have to move it over. Sometimes you might have to move it over two spaces. But the number of spaces you move it outside the house, you also have to move it inside the house. Every single time you move the decimal in the exact same direction to the right. Under the divisor, uh, under the division bar, as well as in the divisor, they both move to the right. Really what you're doing is you are multiplying the dividend and the divisor by 10. Let's take a quick second to look at a problem real quick. If I have 5 divided by 1, I would get 5. What would happen if I multiply the dividend and the divisor by 10. My answer would stay the same. What if I multiplied my dividend and my divisor both by 100? My answer would still stay the same. Mathematically, I'm just multiplying both my divisor and my dividend by, uh, by 10. So now that I have my decimal moved over, I'm going to go ahead and start my division. 82 goes into 101 one time. I do my multiplication, I do my subtraction, and I bring down the 6. 82 goes into 196 two times. I do my multiplication, I bring down, and 82 goes into 328 four times. Oh, look at that, and I have zero. So that means I'm done when I get to zero and I have no more numbers in my dividend to bring down. Notice, it was really important that I lined up my numbers when I wrote down my answer. That's how you know your decimal is gonna be in the right spot. So my answer to this question would be a negative 12.4 because if I have a positive divided by a negative, my answer will be negative 12.4.